Hey everybody, a few awesome users in our Laughing Bird uh, Facebook group were asking about some creative things that they could do with the scenery creator. So in this video, I'm going to show you five creative graphics you can make with the scenery creator. Okay, so the scenery creator is found in the, uh, the web graphics creator. Uh, our web graphics creator is our online version of our software. You can log in using a browser. And I also have the scenery creator open. Well, here's the scenery creator right here. And I also have the scenery creator open uh, behind here uh, in the creator 7. So uh, for this video, I'm going to use the scenery creator in the web graphics creator. So I'm going to launch it. So the first graphic we're going to make is what we call, uh, I don't know what to call it, it's a, it's a photo frame, I guess. Let's say we have a, a picture of us hiking in Hawaii. So I have a picture of a friend of mine, he's hiking, and I want to use, uh, I want to create something really cool to send out to his friends. Okay, so I'm going to find, let's get this out of the way real quick, I'm going to find a cool template. There you go, here's a perfect template right here. In the uh, web graphic, I mean, in the, the Creator 7 software, <clears throat> that template is also found here too. Okay, but for our purposes, we're going to use the online version here. Um, I'm going to keep these rocks. I'm going to take away this background here. So I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to bring in the picture of my friend hiking. I can import the video. And here he is here. And I'm going to make a big and move him to the back and now you notice that these uh, these graphics kind of uh, create a frame around his picture to make it re really creative so um, let's say uh, we can have him say and there's this rock let's move it let's move him over here a little bit cool and now he can send it out to his friends and if you noticed I created these this graphic of some bushes here that kind of gives him a 3d look like he's layered you know, it's just a very cool idea we could do the same thing with with a, a lot of photos like let's say we have a photo uh, here's one here that I grab import this one enlarge this send it to the back delete all of this stuff we don't need this picture. We don't need these rocks. And this time, I'm going to come up here to the, the elements area. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look for the scenery creator elements. And this is a desert scene. So let's look for a desert. And then down here, we have some cactus we can bring over to make it 3D-ish. Or we have a large cactus here. <laughs> Or we could come up here to, uh, let's try rocks and boulders, and we could find a really cool rock here that we can place here. Let's put that here and make it bigger. And we'll take the cactus and move them over here. Nah, cactus isn't really cutting it. Anyway, you got the idea. This is, it kind of frames your photos in a 3D-like effect. Uh, and, it's, and it's really cool. And then you can post it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever you want to do. There's a super user in our Laughing Bird Facebook group. Um, very, very creative person. I just, I just am so impressed. Created some really nice uh, birthday cards. Um, it's a really cool idea. So we're going to make a really quick birthday card invitation. So what you can do is take any of these templates like this one, and we're going to say happy birthday. Delete all this stuff, and maybe we'll keep that because that might be kind of cool. And we're gonna come up here to photos, and we're going to search for Hawaii, maybe. And let's find a really cool picture of Hawaii and bring it over as our birthday boy or birthday girl or whatever likes, likes Hawaii. And we're going to send this to the back. Come up here to the color really quick and let's pick out uh, green real quick. No, I don't like green. There you go. Really cool idea. Now with the photos, uh, the photos tab here, you can put any graphic in the back. There's a lot of excellent looking graphics, excellent looking backgrounds you can, you can add to this. 
Okay, that was number two. Let's go for... So we can start with any of these, like this one, and go up here to the photos, and let's do something like pool, because there's birthday parties at pools. Ah, perfect, here you go. Bring it over, and we'll go find some water elements, and we'll just design our flyer. Cool, there you go. A birthday invitation. You can post it on Facebook or just send it as an email to everybody, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so number four are flyers. We can make a flyer with the scenery creator. So let's find a good template here. Um, let's try this one for our flyer. Now, flyers are typically uh, more... Um, more vertical than they are horizontal, so we're going to format the canvas to make it a little higher. And the width is pretty okay. Bring that down here. Okay, so let's say our event is uh, our flyers for a, a wine event that you're throwing for for your neighbors or or something like that, right? So we're not going to use a picture of the city. We're going to get the picture that our neighbor sent us of some wine. Let's see if that does that work. Yeah, that works pretty good. So I'm going to bring it over and what I can do instead of importing it this time, I'm going to take my folder here and I'm going to drag it from my folder onto the canvas. Super easy to do. And make this big and I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to fade it down a little bit so that I can read my text but the graphic is still very subtle and we will say something like this and since this is a layered graphic let's try something creative and we're gonna bring it to the front so it kind of hides a little bit of this but we still know it's July 4th and we're going to duplicate the text so that we can write Cool, there you go, a flyer. Now you can print this out if you want to, or you can post it on Instagram or all of the social media places. Uh, send it as a, a flyer for, for an email. Uh, be creative, you can do it. Okay, and number five, we're going to make a motivational or an inspirational message, and we're gonna post it daily to our Facebook feed. So for this one, we're gonna go to uh, Google, gonna open up a new window and we're gonna type in inspirational quotes, 56 motivational quotes. This is good enough for 2019. And we're gonna quickly scroll down just to see um, what we can find. And we find one, ah, perfect, I like this one. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. <laughs> I love that, okay. So, we got the quote, and we're going to pick out, let's move this out of the way for a second, and we're going to pick out a template that semi comes close to the feeling, and we're just going to, and we're just going to type in the quote. And we're going to just position it kind of cool, and uh, mountains are kind of cool, but we can also go to the photos, and let's get a couple elements to make it kind of 3D. Come over to the scenery creator get some clouds maybe and we'll even find like a, try and find let's try this tree idea I have cool okay the tree doesn't quite work so let's really quick go back over to this to rocks and boulders and let's try go gives it just a little bit of 3d ish and here is our inspirational quote so there you go five great graphic ideas you can make with the scenery creator using the web graphics creator or the creator 7 by laughing bird software thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss any other great videos thanks for watching see you next time